Alright, so welcome back guys or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Vision here with Blind Entertainment bringing you guys another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some big news regarding The Walking Dead Season 10. So if The Walking Dead is something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon. That way don't miss any more Walking Dead content from me moving forward. Now let's begin. And the first news we got regards Negan in Season 10. Now I'll have the link down below in the description box of this video. So if you want to check it out, you can go check it out there. But basically what the link is talking about or the article is talking about is how Negan or it's teasing Negan eventually escaping in season 10. Now, I think we all had a inkling, at least comic book fans who, who have read the comic and source material had an inkling we'd get close to this point in season 10 where Negan escapes. And it even goes into this with Angela Kang talking about how we spent all of season 9 with him in his cell. Now we're going to get him on the opposite side of that. So that's a very interesting place to have it. She goes in to talk about some of the comic source material about how hinting at some of the stuff that we might see with the Whisper War on the horizon. Now this is very exciting news for Negan fans and myself. I'm a huge fan of Negan and JDM's performance as Negan. He's one of my new favorite characters in the show. And I really like what they have done with the character in Season 9 especially. Now... With this news, I think it is an interesting time. We from what from what comic fans know of Negan's story arc moving forward, it's almost a hundred percent confirmed he's gonna get out. Now, I think to an extent they're gonna remix some of Negan's comic material because they even talk about how he'll play a role in the Whisper War and stuff like that. I think that might be a little remixed and his escape or what out might be a little different. In the comics it was a disgruntled Alexandrian who lets him out and ends up he, Negan ends up backstabbing him in the end. But I think they could go that route with the character Gage from from the from the hilltop community if maybe he moves there after what happened at the end of last season possibly maybe he lets him out or they could just remix it where Michonne decides to just say hey you know what you've proven your point you we, you've been in here for six years or however long he's been there and you know what you can come out now you know it could go either way I think I feel like with the TV show and what they've set up if they just let him out I think that works you don't need to have him being being let out by some kid or whatever. I know there's theories that Judith will let him out or something like that. I don't think we need that. I think it's fine the way it is if they just have it where Michonne lets him out. I don't really think we need the whole, you know, kid get disgruntled with some of the things that has happened and then what's Negan out to try to take down someone or whatever. It, we just don't need it. I think it just works better in in the TV format if Michonne just decides, "Hey, you've served your time. You've done. You've proven that you're allowed to be trusted by saving Judith and whatnot. Here's the here's your key. You're free to. You're a free man. You can do whatever you want. I think that works. Sure, you might have some people that might not agree with it. So sure, you might have some people that might think, want him dead still. But I think that's with a character like Negan, you're always going to have that. That might be play into some storylines that could be played out in season 10 and some other stuff to that I'm going to be talking about later. So that's a very interesting thing that could happen. So I think Michonne letting him out works better for the TV show, in my opinion. A second piece of news we got regards Angela Kang talk about paranoia and PTSD being a big part of our character's journey in season 10. Now this is a very interesting idea actually. I find this very intriguing going into season 10 with the idea of our characters suffering from PTSD after what they've been through. And I think it's an interesting journey and I think one of the things that I, I like about this is we haven't experienced this before. Sure you could say Michonne has had gone through PTSD but I think we need to see more of it. We should have gotten that a lot more with things like the Hunters or the Governor and stuff like that. We don't. I feel like a lot of that stuff was brushed off in the past. And I think introducing it here is an interesting way to look at it. Paranoia, again, is another thing. We've not knowing. We've had a Whispers act and disguising themselves. It's, it's going to be a time when you're paranoid. Now, Kang does talk about how it's going to be like this Cold War presence in Season 10. Now, I don't think the first half of Season 10 will be jumping right into the Whisperer War. 
I know there's a lot of fan theories about that. Like we're going to be going right into the, to the Whisper of War. No. My prediction as of right now would be that we're going to get this Cold War essence in the first half. And in the second half, we're going to be going into the beginnings of the Whisper of War. And then the Whisper of War maybe concludes at the end of Season 10. Or it ends at, at the at the mid-season finale of Season 11. That's just my prediction right now. I think they're going to drag it out to, see the, to the mid-season finale of Season 11. Like they did with the Negan story arc. It's going to be similar to that. Just be, you know, two seasons long just differently. Now... Paranoia, I think, could also play into a role with the Negan story arc. If Michonne lets him out, there could be some people that are paranoid regarding that storyline. I think that could even play a role with Gage. Maybe he, again, maybe people are moved from Hilltop because they're scared. So they move to Alexandria and then that's where he comes into play. He lets out Negan if they go that route. I think that could work. I don't know. This is a very interesting time period for The Walking Dead. We're getting the trailer tomorrow or today, depending on when you see this. And I, this is just an exciting time to be a Walking Dead fan. We're right on the cusp of 10 years of The Walking Dead. And I think they're going to make this out to be a big deal for season 10. I think a lot of fans don't have high expectations. Maybe I have too high of expectations. But I think they're going to have something big coming up at San Diego Comic Con or at this whole, whatchamacallit, for season 10. I think they're going to do something big. And I think this is the perfect time. PTSD, paranoia, all this stuff. You even saw that with, with Alden and Witty at the end of season 9. You had paranoia there and all this stuff. I think moving into this new story arc, we're on the cusp of greatness again. I know people talk about season 9. Being a great season. I don't see it that way. But that's just my opinion. Let's, let's respect everybody's opinion as always. But that's just my opinion. I, I think it was a good season. Not great. But good. I'll Maybe I'll do a whole video about why I don't think it's great. But I'm excited. I think we're on the verge of a great season again. And I think we're on the verge of a new era of The Walking Dead. But leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Again, I'll have this article in the co in the this comment section or description center section of the video. That way you can find both links to these articles in the description box down below. I also want to just note that it has been officially announced that The Walking Dead Season 10 will return in October on Sunday the 6th. So that's big news as well. So that's exciting. We got a few more months left. To the return and we get show droppings tomorrow so that's very exciting news so let me know again your thoughts and opinions on all this news in the comment section down below so yeah guys those are my quick thoughts and opinions regarding the news regarding negan and some news regarding season 10 of the walking dead as always if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon that way to miss any more walking dead content from me moving forward and you can go follow me on instagram and twitter which i have linked in the about section of this youtube page so you can go follow me there if you like as always, this has been Vision here with Blind Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.